I don't think he had a very good night. I got up for the loo at about three, and he was up eating a cheese toasty and watching World's Deadliest Catch. What's that about? Oh, it's just blokes with beards catching massive fish. Not the show. Steve not sleeping. Oh, oh, well, I have no idea. Morning, sleepyhead. What time is it? Gone nine. I'll get you a cup. Probably use the lie in, eh? Time me up till. I don't know. Listen, sorry for having a massive go at yesterday. It's all right. I know you've got a lot on your mind. What well, your dad and all that. Yeah, well, you know, and Peter getting sentenced today, my head's all over the place, so. Still, no need to take it out on her. Oh, it's okay. I give it in both barrels often enough. Morning. Eva, let me in. Is that all you've got? Well, after last night, I wasn't sure whether you still wanted me living in. Of course I do. <laughs> mm. Don't we, Steve? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get changed because I'm late for a cab shift, so. Oh, well, I'll pull this upstairs and get the rest of the stuff in the Oh, van. no, you don't. Not until I've given you a proper welcome. Ah, oh, will you two get a room? <laughs> you heard the lady. <laughs> Do you know, I've always been intrigued by Japan. Such an interesting culture, so different to ours. It's a bit like Leeds, isn't it? The formality of traditional etiquette, contrasting with their fascination with technology. This book's really opened my eyes. Good for you, Grasshopper. Now, if you're referring to that TV series, Kung Fu, he was a shale in Monk, actually, which is Chinese rather than Japanese. <laughs> <sighs> the mysteries of the Orient, eh? <laughs> Tony's settling all right. Well, I assume so. They've been upstairs all morning. Oh, well, thanks for that image. That's just what I need before lunch, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, speaking of which, how do you fancy lunch today at the bistro, my treat? And then I thought, after a few glasses of wine and some um, basic level flirting, you and me could take the rest of the day off. I would, babe, but, um... Fat Brenda's not well. She's got a dicky tummy. No, she's fine. She's coming in at two. Right. Um, must be crosswise, babe. See you at two, then. Oh, wear something pretty. Oh, wow. You look absolutely gorgeous. Not the only one. Hmm. Well, I decided to take a leaf out of you two lovebirds' book. I thought a nice romantic lunch might be just what he needs. Well, if that doesn't put the snap back in his celery, you looking like that, there's no hope for it. <laughs> Steve, how much longer are you going to be, darling? I'm sat here on my own with a bottle of wine. If you don't get here pretty quickly, I think I'm going to be smashed. What do you think you're doing? I've got to go. I'm sorry. You are supposed to be organising our wedding, not sat here getting hammered. No, sorry, she, she's had some bad news. Peter. All oh, right, yeah. What do you get? Got life. Minimum 15 years. Not that you care. Come on. Mm. Look, I know that you're upset, which is why I've been on the phone. Oh, had a word with the Home Secretary, have you? Nope. Travel agent. I've just upgraded our flights to first class. Oh! <laughs> oh I am going to marry the heck out of you. Uh. <laughs> Steve. I'm sorry, babe, it's miles away then. You've not been answering your phone. No, it's in the bar. Been sat in the bistro waiting for you. <sighs> Sorry, babe, it completely slipped my mind. You heard about Peter? Fifteen years, I can't believe it. <laughs> 